Now, he's only 10 years and walks on one leg. However, he wants to be a, a superstar in a game that requires the use of both legs. Abdullah uh, dreams of playing for top flight uh, um, league sides such as Liverpool. Well, uh, that is actually uh, against the tide of events in his community where many who are physically challenged are used to begging for arms. Freelance journalist Justice Bedu tells us the story of Abdullah. Tamale's future football stars on their runs, preparing for a big game. This is the Blackpool Football Club. Get up. These boys, many of them under 10 years, represent the city's next generation of footballers. Amongst them, one-legged Abdel, aided on his runs by his crutches. When I play, I play in a number three position. My friend Swati plays number ten. Brian plays the number two. Sometimes we interchange the positions and I can play eleven. On a dusty red earth pitch, few meters away from Tamale's biggest sports stadium, ten-year-old Abdul Razak Abdullah kicks a ball around aiming for the goal. He's different from all the boys out here on the field playing. Abdullah was born with a rare condition that meant his right leg had to be amputated before his first birthday. When you come to Tamale, you find so many physically challenged people begging for money. I want to be different. I do not want to beg. I want other kids to see me and to be different. Abdallah, open, open, Abdallah. From the crowd watching, open. he's cheered on by Abdul Razak Salifu, his 47-year-old father. It was just, we we're just having the belief in God, that it was God's will, so we can't do anything. The only thing we should do is to help him. And he liked football so much, half of football there. We watched football together. Actually, in the house, we also like football. And he is the only Liverpool supporter in our house. We support Manchester United and Chelsea are there in the house, but he's the only Liverpool supporter in the house. I love Liverpool because of their style of football. I really love to That's why I want to play for the Liverpool. Tamale, the biggest town in northern Ghana, has very few spaces for physically challenged children like Abdullah to build on their talents. He's hoping playing in the game here would help him catch the attention that could be the springboard into a Paralympic team on the world stage. Justice Beidou for Joy News in Tamale.